In this daily drop, I'm going to show you the basic setup here at Tiffin's headquarters in Burbank, California, where we're shooting some content for a new product for Steadicam. So let's go. All right, everybody, it's a Saturday here in Burbank, beautiful weather in Los Angeles, and I am here in the educational center or space at Tiffin's headquarters. And what I'm doing is truly a no crew production. There's other people who are behind the scenes who are helping with content creation and, and producing, but I am the crew here. It's a two camera shoot. And right now we're looking at a camera or something close to what it will be. And then talent here, who is an amazing Steadicam operator will be showing a new arm for Steadicam. So that will actually be sitting right here. And then over in this area, I'm looking at the monitor here for reference. This is where we can put some graphics inside of the video. So this framing is intentional instead of being completely center framed, though we may move and cheat a little bit more center for the final positioning. And what I wanted to do was just take you through the basic setup here. I'm gonna show you the B camera, which is really gonna change throughout the day but that's for close-ups. That's the A7C2 with the, right now I've got the Bodice 85 on there. And what's nice about that camera is you can go between full frame and Super 35 in terms of crop. So I can use that one lens in terms of field of view. And there are some other things in Sony cameras that like the clear image zoom I could use, but I'm just gonna go ahead and go to that tighter shot and then go back to the full frame. And that's a nice advantage to that camera. And then the A camera FX30, um, I've got the Sony 24 to 70, which is an F4 constant aperture lens. And right now I have it stopped down to a four five. I might go to a five, another third of a stop, depending on how things go. And then let's take a look at the room and the basic setup, pretty simple. I had to bring everything with me. So there were as there always are in small to no crew production, some compromises. So two cameras, two tripods, mix pre 6.2. I've got two microphones above me. They're identical. They're both NTG fives. And one of them's going to channel one with noise assist, which I may or may not keep on. There's actually a firmware upgrade now for the mix pre series, the, the two version, the version twos that will allow you to add another license of noise assist to two channels, but that's another $300. So I have to look at, am I going to be doing a lot of production with two microphones? And do I want to use that feature going forward in that way? Um, K tech boom pole, that I brought, boom pole holder that I brought. And then over here is really our key light. And I really had to think about how I was gonna bring stuff for this. So the source for my key, it's a Forza 300B2. I knew I was gonna be in a controlled environment, so I didn't need a, a 500 watt, 720 watt. And in fact, uh, believe it or not, that light is dimmed down to 15%. Two cameras are set to 1600 ISO, and I can float between a, a four and a five, six, and I feel like I'm right in the range. I could go down to 800 and get just a slightly cleaner image, but quite honestly, I wanna keep that light low for a couple of reasons. One, it's more comfortable for talent, and number two, on that fixture at 15%, I can turn the fan off completely. So the fixture is silent. This is a pretty live room, to be honest with you. So it's gonna need a little bit of cleanup. In fact, right now, you're hearing the room the way it would be without any cleanup. And now we're back to hearing it with some noise reduction and just cleaned up a little bit. So definitely these tools that we're getting now in post are helping us with these types of situations. So that light source coming through basically daylight color temperature, through a four by four frame. We've got magic cloth, which is about two stops. So really shows you in a controlled environment how much or how little light you need. And that's just creating this really soft key. And then too much spill off the background. So I brought a four by four floppy also on a frame that is ultra bounce on one side and then the black on the other. I could put the black 
in the other side. But the problem with that is then white would be facing me and I'd be picking up more of the light that's bouncing around the room. Uh, we've got light ceilings above me and Tyson, who's our talent, actually has hair. So this is, well, it's not a problem in either situation. And then in terms of other stuff, I've got this little reflector, which is essentially a, a kind of magic cloth type of material. So it's not completely opaque, but it's giving a little bit of return here from the key for talent and the equipment that will be here. And then behind me on the floor, I've got that cello too, the Luxley light. And that's just basically on a tiny little tripod and I've got a little diffusion over it. I didn't bring the diffusion panel, but just some diffusion that I'd brought a one by one, uh, one stop silk from uh, Westcott. And that's just sitting there and that's just creating a little bit more um, light on the background because with it off, it's too dark. It just reads as a very dark, solid gray. And I love that it is gray. Um, and then over here, I have what is basically our kicker light. And that's just gonna give a little bit of a shine to the arm when it's here. And then for talent, we'll feel a little bit of separation on the background. And that is basically the little 60C light from Nanlite. And then I've actually taken the little diffuser from the Ziyun Molus X100, and I've popped that uh, inside the barn doors just to soften it up because it was just a little too harsh overall. And I think that's the basic setup of what we have inside of here. I've got a little uh, sound blanket or moving blanket that I found somewhere just to help a little bit with the reflections on this concrete floor. It's not doing a lot, quite honestly, so that little example I gave you earlier on kind of shows you that stuff. And if you're hearing stuff, Tyson's in the background kind of getting his vest and his whole setup for his Steadicam rig uh, set up. We're going to very shortly put the arm here and we'll start shooting these videos soon. So you know the deal. Don't forget to. Oh, wait, this is better because this is where the titles don't forget to and to. And I'll see you on the next episode of The Daily Drop.